Welcome to Jam Recorder. You just found the easiest and fastest way to record your vocals or instruments over your Jam Studio song. Other recording software can be extremely costly and some require college classes to master. Jam Recorder will get you recording in seconds. It's extremely easy to learn and we have numerous videos to help you get the most out of your music. I'll walk you through how to get started with the Zero Latency Jam Recorder. First, click the download button. Type in your email address and get your activation code. Once you have Jam Recorder, you'll need a mic. Some computers have built-in mics, webcams have mics, there are mics that plug into the microphone jack on your computer, some plug into the USB port. This is the Jam Studio song I want to record with, just a simple drum track. Click MP3 Mix to get the song on your computer in the form of an MP3. Now that it's on your computer, open up Jam Recorder. I want to import my Jam Studio drums to the first track so I'll highlight the record button on track 1 and then click import. This will bring my drums into Jam Recorder on track 1. I'll label this track Jam Studio Drums. Without opening, importing, or recording something into Jam, Jam Recorder, it won't play a sound because it doesn't have any sound to play. The LED lights above the volume bar will show you how loud the mic is that you're recording. You want the level to stay around the yellow lights. The green lights are a little soft, the red lights are a little loud. To adjust the recording level, click Start, Control Panel, Sounds and Audio Devices, the Audio tab, then Volume under Sound Recording. Then adjust the level of your microphone. If your mic is still too quiet, click Advanced, and then check the box by the microphone boost. Now Cole is going to record a picking pattern on an acoustic guitar with the drums to keep him on beat. So I'll label track 2, Acoustic Guitar. I want to record on this track, so I'll highlight the record button on track 2. While I'm recording on track 2, I want the drums to play so Cole can stay on beat. So I'll highlight the speaker button on track 1. Now I'm all set up to record. Clicking play while a track's record button is highlighted will record to the highlighted track. Think of play as a go forward button. What is highlighted on the left side will determine if the track records, plays, or is muted. Now that he's done that, we're going to record his vocals on track 3. He needs the drums and his acoustic guitar in his headphones, so I'll highlight both speaker buttons. If he wants less drums, then I can move the volume bar on the drum track down. Same with the guitar. Now let's record his vocals on track 3. I had the same dream again trip and fall but then I get back up vocals sound really good with a reverb button on so I'll highlight it I'll save my project so I can add anything later I'll export what I have right now because I already have a complete song in three tracks I know you've been waiting to add a vocal track to your song and now you can get your activation code and start making music Jam Recorder does so much more than what I showed you in this demo, so watch our videos, and if you need help, or if you didn't get your activation code, email me at clintjamstudio.com.
Yeah. 